Welcome and congratulations. You're in the COVID-19 interview. Can you start by just giving us a little um, intro about your general COVID-19 experience? Well, to start with, well, whatever I faced during COVID-19 was crazy. I hope everybody, I, I open loud and clear to everybody. I hope I'm audible enough. Okay, can you tell me in, the, in your experience from before you got diagnosed and when you're diagnosed and even thereafter, like how was your experience within your peer group also, your family? Can you um, talk a little bit about that? Oh, yes, we didn't mind, you know. My experience was crazy due to the fact that, you know, COVID itself was life-threatening due to the fact that the mortality was high. And we were all scared of contaminating each other. We were scared of what tomorrow might bring. Maybe 90% of the world would die and stuff. So we're actually so scared. We wanted better hope for tomorrow. Uh, and talking of my peers, the major goal or the major deal of the day was the fact that we were all scared. Scared for our lives, scared for promise for tomorrow, scared for what we wanted and what we dreamed for, what we dreamed, uh, what our visions were and how it seemed like if one contacted you know, the virus, how short-lived those dreams and visions and aims would be. Okay. Um, can you tell me about your experience with doctors and physicians and then your general access to resources in that time? Please, I didn't get that question. I didn't process that right. I'm sorry. Can you tell me about your experience with doctors and your access to resources at that time? Well, my access to resources were crazy. Uh, it's, you know, it was more like we wanted to address the issue of COVID only and no other stuff. I hope you get what I mean. And that was direct. Yes, I would say direct because they, they didn't care about every other stuff. They wanted you to be fine. And they were also being careful, you know, with themselves too. So. <clears throat> So what type of other stuff are you meaning? Other stuff, like I want to be safe. I don't want to contract the virus by treating the patient. And I don't want to die too. So now whatever you're trying to do will be straight, but one way or the other we could see that you're quite scared because this is a new stuff. It's a new and different ball game 
different from whatever you might have been doing in the past years. Okay. Do you ever feel like in that time you were discriminated against? Never, 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 no, no, no. I, di I, I, I didn't feel that way anyways. I, whew, what I wanted most was just to be safe. And what I dreamt for was to be all right. <laughs> I hope you get what, I, what, what I'm driving at here. I wanted to be all right. I wanted to be fine. I wanted to be safe. I wanted to be just fine. I wanted to leave the, the center and stuff. I wanted to be with my loved ones. Yes. Right. What would you say to people who don't think that COVID-19 is real? Well, I would laugh at them and ask them why they took their vaccine. <laughs> and, I will, I, and I will also tell them, why did we take vaccine against polio, you know, cholera and the likes? Why did we take vaccine against those stuff if they didn't, if the mortality rates were not that high? Okay. And I would, so I would also state to them that COVID is not something we just brought up. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not, it, it's not, it, it, it's not that the mortality rates were overhyped. No, it's, it, they were just a fact because lots of crazy stuff were, were going out there. And I know, yes, it seemed like the, the world was, was coming to an end, you know, like a sci-fi kind of like stuff. But I'm happy everything is fine now and everything is better. Is there any parting wisdom that you would leave? to people who are concerned about the vaccine and don't know what to do? Yes, they should know that their body will fight. Sometimes we take the vaccine and we want to feel a little, a little bit down, a little bit feverish. I hope you get what I'm trying to say. Uh, our bodies will fight because now the antivirus or the, the vaccine is a strange stuff to our body. So the moment we are injected and stuff, our uh, body reacts and we seem a little bit down, but we should know our antibodies are trying to like make things all right and make things fine. So we can be fine again and we can be all again. And with that, we are immune against this deadly lethal disease. And I wouldn't want anyone out there to be unsafe. I wouldn't want anyone out there to be a danger to another person by not taking the vaccine. Yes, because what we are saying here is so real, it's so deadly, and it's so crazy. You know, having, having crazy stuff, like you couldn't even taste stuff. Mm -hmm. That's very crazy. Yes, that's very, very crazy. No one would want to go through, you know, that process anymore. So why not make yourself safe? So you could walk through even environments that are crazy and you'll be what you'll be, you, you'll be so fine. Okay, thank you for your time. Are there any final thoughts before we close? I think I've given that out. Okay. I wouldn't wish COVID on anyone. So I would want everybody to be fine. We should love each other. COVID is not a religious stuff or something. Uh, we should all take the vaccine and love our neighbors. Yes. Okay. Thank you.